Hello there dear viewers, we are currently just inside Pavel's house, having it check, having checked it for any more of those force one, but having found none, and absolutely nothing has changed mod-wise or otherwise, so let's just get right into it. Alright Inigo, well you're having something to eat, I suppose I might as well have a snack. I could have a carrot and some cheese and why not some grilled chicken and some water soup perhaps a bit to drink as well there we go and perhaps I should put some poison on my blade That one is quite good, it decreases both their magic re regeneration and their health since they did say that these forsworn people have powerful magic. Well then, I think the mine is somewhere up here. Oh, well he's got some septims at least. And armor that looks both impractical and it's frankly quite ugly. There are probably more of them. Let's try sneaking. I'm not sure if an invisibility potion is a good idea at this point. see anyone. But then again I can hardly see anything anyway, so someone walking up there. They're coming this way, they're coming this way. Something. Well, he didn't have anything decent on him. I could hear someone say over here. Though maybe that was him. What are they? Here we go. Oh, damn it! It's slicing time. Don't. Most of the Inigo will not be served. I'll try and make this quick. Just get off, Inigo. Ah, <sighs> horrible. 
What was that magic you see? Get a weird helmet. Briar heart. I've never really seen those. That's a very weird headdress. I'm taking it just because I've never seen that either. I'm sure there are more of these. No, you am now. There you are. Come and play him. Well, I would have if I didn't get stuck in a hole. Poison recipe fear. Interesting. Okay, there we are. Do you think there are any more? Oh, a golden ore of vein, wow. I know I need gold for that man. Uh, what's his name? The Bargonian jewelry man. But let's worry about that later, shall we, Nigo? Let's just make sure this place is safe. Go on. Come on. Come on, any takers? Anyone? Good grief, it's dark. They should know we're here already. By all the commotion. This is also gold? Yes. This is a gold mine. Machine. Again, I suppose I could wear my pantolier, which helps me carry a bit more. Because I would like some gold ore. Yes, I would. What's this? A hole. But there are some stairs. Um, you think we should... I mean, it's probably very dangerous and I'm not sure if we would ever find our way out of there. I don't know if they made a tunnel to get into here. I don't know how they... I mean, how did, did they get to this place, do you think, Inigo? Why are we in this hole in the ground? Just making sure it's safe. Just checking. I know you don't like these sort of dark places. Just looking to see if there's something interesting. What on earth is that? Leviathan Amethyst, yes, please, thank you. This doesn't look safe. Doesn't, not really. Let's try to. I'll see if I can dig up some gold in here. How about it? Well, that was terribly boring and heavy and just generally unpleasant. Was this at that place with the hole? Or was this where we just came from?
these tunnels all look the same to me. Hmm. Well, we can at least go back to that man and tell him that, you know, we, we've taken care of his little problem. But I want the guests in the mines. All the guests or whatever you want to call them. The intruders, bandits. Today has been pretty interesting so far. Tomorrow has a lot to live up to. Oh yeah, definitely. Hmm. There's a camp over there. Do you think it's a Khajiit? You know, traders. Yes, excellent. Hello there, Risa. Hmm? What have you got for sale? Take a look. Have you got anything interesting? Anything I might want. You've got an ebony ingot. What? And some flawed amethysts. I might take them. They might be good for something. I'm not sure what exactly, but I know Grandpa. What? Plus the book called Fool's Ebony, that sounds quite interesting. Oh, volume 5. Taking it anyway. And I'm taking this ebony ingot. I don't want to sell that amethyst. It's too big and too interesting. I could sell this soul gem. And the steel wolf pendant. And the goldsmith spars. Hmm, something else. Con your flame at an for 60 seconds. Yeah, sure, you can have it. Not selling the gold ore. Hmm. Well, I guess I might sell this white bearskin cloak. Hmm. Not sure if I want to sell this war axe or not. Disenchanted. I mean, I don't think I'll use it. I'll sell it. And I suppose you can have a travel lantern as well. There we are. May your road lead you to warm sands. Thank you. I shall try. Hello, Kyla. Blessings of the moon, Sapadin Traveller. Hmm. Can you train me to They'll sneak? Never see you coming. So I've learned all I can from you. I hope that you will come to the business with us again. I shall try. Hello, Atala. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. We have been in this land for so long. I have forgotten what it feels like to walk on the warm sand. Oh. Yes, I know just what you mean. That does sound rather sad, actually. Let's continue up until we get to that mining village. 
It was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Okay, here's a farm. It's supposed to be somewhere just across. Yes. Here we are. It's rather late, but hopefully they will be at home. Hello, doggy. Um, well, I suppose I'll just... Can I help you? Um... Hello, Daigre? I'm the hardest worker in left hand. Better than any man. Um, Skaggy you're not the one I'm looking for. Skaggy tells me you him today. Can't you and Torum just play by yourselves? But, Ma, it's so boring with just me and Torum. I was just asking Skaggy some questions. You leave him alone. Hmm. I don't want to hear Skaggy telling me you've been bothering him again. Let's just go outside. I see, perhaps this is the house we're looking for. Miner's barracks. Can I help you? Um, Pavel, you might be the man I'm looking Kolskiger for. Kolskiger mine is lost, friend. Forsworn killed everyone. No, it's not. It's clear of Forsworn. You drove them off? By yourself? Thank you. Me and Inigo. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. Wow, that was a lot. For your help, I'm sending word to the orc strongholds that you're to be trusted. You should Divine be welcome smile there now. Oh, um, thank you. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Uh, by the way, where could I find these orc strongholds? The most well-known stronghold is Dushnik Yal. Here, I'll mark it down for you. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Mm, yeah. Wait, do you have any water? Of course. Oh. Oh, I, uh... Thank you. All right, then. That was... that was very kind. I'm not going to take anything from these people. They seem dirt poor already. Let's just see if I can... Well... <coughs> they haven't got anything in the pots. Let's just take the carriage to Solitude. We've got a couple of jobs there. And we can give the uh, give the statue thing we found to the museum man. I don't really need the light. Everything is lit up so nicely with fires and and all of that. Hello there, Kibel. The carriage is the safest way to travel. I would like to hire your Where carriage, do you want please. To go? Take me. Take me all the way to Hathengar Hold, please. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Take me straight to Solitude, thank you. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right then. Have you ever met one of them cats? Kaji, I think they call themselves. Actually, I, hear I have. I'm traveling with one right now. Um, the big blue man. Um, did you just think he was a uh, blue because he was a very hairy thunder or something? And he's a Kaji. Don't know the tail. Well, I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear, tired and such, but we are here. It's very early in the morning. I hope the museum is open. It would be a bit of a shame if it wasn't. My father was all the family I ever had. Let's just ignore those red twig people. We've done our job.
I hope the Argonia isn't here again. He's annoying. You should see me when you get bored. Ah, I should never have mentioned his name. I'm supposed to speak to the captain of the guard. True. I, think. I may Hello. look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. Well, um, never mind. You I should try to be nice. Now. The castle tower dungeon can break even the strongest will. I'm going to try my best to be nice Hello, while I'm here. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Uh, fine, Erica's sister. I have no idea who you are. These people are quite strange. Now, were you just a guard? A change yes, has swept into solitude, like a breeze off the ocean. The thieves' guild has come. Oh yes, it has indeed, indeed. Oh, and the blue palace looks lovely, like this. I wish it were a painter that could paint this scene. Um, hello, Jaren. Good day. How are things? Life's not so bad. I'm independently wealthy, though I don't wear it. So it's nice to just be able to wander about and take in the sights of solitude. Oh, well, that's, uh, glad to hear that, I suppose. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. I'll have a bit. Butterflies. Come on, let me... No, okay, fine, they don't want to be caught. Let's head on in. Hope he's awake. Oh, there you are. Um, hello there, Orion. I found that artifact you wanted for me. Oh, you have? Uh, well, you want Excellent. Them. Yes, I have just the place for this. Thank you. Here's your reward. Another important artifact has fallen into the hands of unscrupulous thieves, it would seem. Hmm. Dinstagma's ring, which is a quite powerfully enchanted ring that was in the possession of a local collector before it was stolen oh. by the Silent Moon Bandits. They have a hideout near Whiterun, which would likely house the ring, if they haven't fenced it yet, that is. Hmm. All right. Near Whiterun. Sure. I guess. I know I just sort of a job here, but I don't remember what it was. Hmm, I'm supposed to see a silver pendant from Solitude Stables. And then I have two jobs in Rifton. And one job in Windhelm. Plus, I'm supposed to speak Fine to some day, captain fellow. It? Mm, it's alright, it's alright. Please, take pity on an old madman. Um, let's just, let's just ignore him and go. And hello there, Nostra the Hippolyte. The bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Um, there's some guard. I'm supposed to find the captain to talk about recruits for the old lady who owns the potions shop. I'm sure the captain is somewhere around here. You look rather captain-like. Hello there, Captain Aldous. I think you're the man I'm seeking. Out with it. Um, Captain, Angeline sent me to ask you about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. Well, I think Angeline needs to know. I, I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs oh. to be told. 
Oh. Oh. Well, Inigo. Something. Let's go and be the bearer of bad news. I suppose. I mean, she has to know, right? You can't just let her live and think that her daughter might still be alive. That would just be cruel. They don't want to be cruel. At least not to, you know, kind old little ladies. It might be cruel to people who deserve it. Or cruel to me. If you're looking <sighs> for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Merard. Well, as it happens, I am looking for potions, but where is your aunt? Is she still in bed? Oh, there she is. Hello, Angeline. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? Unfortunately, I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Well, Angeline. Um, Mrs. Morad, and I think, uh, how to say this, do you know, I can't think of any tactful way to say this, so I just say it outright, your daughter is dead. I told her, I told her the Imperial Army would kill her, that this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it, she just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. It's all right, my condolences. It must be awful losing a daughter like that. Then you just have some stranger come up and tell, I uh, know, it's just awful. A very bad situation. Hello, I'm Gisley. I just ignore her, you know. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Eric. Now let's see, yes, it was from the stables. Um, excuse me. I am in your way. 